Good evening folks and welcome back. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the Fresno um, node today. So Fresno or dielectric Fresno node computes how much light is reflected off a layer, where the rest will be refracted through the layer. The resulting weight can be used for layering shaders with the mix shader node. It is independent on the angle between the surface normal and the viewing direction. The most common use is to mix between two BSDFs using it as a blending factor in a mix shader node. For a simple glass material we would mix between a glossy refraction and glossy reflection. At grazing angles more light will be reflected than refracted as happens in reality. For a two layered material with a diffuse base and glossy coating, you can use the same setup, mixing between a diffuse and a glossy BSDF, and that's that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be mixing between diffuse and glossy because it's the easiest setup and it's probably the easiest way you're gonna use it really. By using the Fresnel as the blending factor, you are specifying that any light which is refracted through the glossy coating layer would hit the diffuse base and be reflected off that. Okay, so if we just go through to Cycles Render, and I'm going to switch over here to Compositing, I can't be bothered changing all that again. So I'm just going to use the simple one that's in here, and use Node. Switch over to Material. Okay, so this is our little box here, we're going to go over into 3D View, and switch it over into Rendered Mode, just so we can see it affecting as it affects. So let's spin them around, so there we go. Okay, we'll throw this into material. Okay, so this is going to be the easiest way that you're going to use it really. Um, if you just use control, just to cut that apart, you'll have your output, you'll have your diffuse. Now, let's go for our fresnel. And don't worry if you don't know what the diffuse or anything like that is, we'll go through that again. Um, so yeah, we have Fresnel. And then we're going to use Diffuse. And we're also going to use Glossy. Okay, and then because we were using two BSDF, we also have to add in a mixer. It's a mix shader which allows you to put in BSDF from there and a BSDF from there and we're going to be using this as the factor controller rather than using this factor controller that's in here and stick that to our surface okay so it's going to show you how light is going to react with your object basically so on this one you do have your inputs on the left and your output on the right You've got IOR, which is index of refraction of the material being entered. And then your normals are obviously from your normal maps, your bump maps, anything like that, your height maps. Uh, there's no actual standalone properties on it at all. And the FAC factor of Fresnel weight indicating the probability with which light will reflect off the layer rather than passing through. So if we use this as the mix factor, and let's take that to blue. And we'll shut this down to black so that we can see it actually affecting. Now at the moment it's gonna be it's it's slightly halfway between both basically. So as we hide this up, it's gonna let through less and less light. So if I now change this to ten. You see it's getting darker because it's going more towards the glossy and it's let them, with the normal factor if we just have a look at this here if we do that right at the end it's completely glossy at the beginning it's just a diffuse so 0.5 in between is half glossy and half diffuse using this as the factor controls the light input on your object So hiring it up, it makes it darker because it's it's not letting as much light through 
as would actually go through your object. It's refracting um, the light, basically. So the lower it is, the more it, let, more it lets light through. So the more light that's going to go through is basically it's going to make your object brighter. Um, and as again, you know, there's on Blender, uh, Blender Guru's website, um, absolutely fantastic the way he's described it all. So definitely have a look at that. I'll leave the um, I'll leave the address on the um, on the comments on the description. And basically, that's what you're going to use your Fresnel for. And that's how it's going to affect. Now, there is a lot more things that you can use for. So, one of the other options were um, for glass. So, you'd have glossy refraction and glossy reflection. So, let's give that a little shot. So, delete that. Delete that. Okay. And then we do input. So, um, no. Refraction. Okay, into there, and then we're going to do reflection. Now, is that going to be an actual one, or is that just going to be reflected from um, glossy reflection? I can't seem to find anything there with, for reflection. So I'm just going to use normal gloss on that one. I'll throw that into there. Change the colour of that. And let's change the colour of this one to red so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so as soon as we start changing that, it's now starting to um, it's go into the glossy rather than the refraction. So what I'll do is let's, let's reload the start of the file. Let's get rid of this and let's add in a plane. Let's move it up so that we can see it properly. And then let's just change the bottom here onto our node editor. And so on our screencast as well, so you can see what I'm doing. Let's go through to material, new material, and I need to go over the cycles first and use notes. Okay, so add in our Fresnel again. Get rid of the fuse because we're not going to be using that. And add in our refraction. And add in glossy. Let's give ourselves a little more room there. And then let's add in a mix. Mix shader. So we're going to control the factor via our Fresnel. And then refraction, glossy, surface output. Let's change this up to a rendered layer. And then let's change this to blue. And let's change this to red. And Beckman. Okay, so you can see the reflection of it is the red there. That's basically the where the light's hitting it. So as we move it across, that red should start to become a lot more stronger until the whole thing is basically red. And that's going to be the way that you are going to use it. Um, there's obviously a lot more, a lot of a lot of other ways that you can use it. 
Um, let's see if we can do a glass in between. That. Let's see how that would look. That's going more towards the bed, but as you can see, it's a bit, it's a little more transparent. If we start going back, then you can see it is pretty much going. To be transparent, so we have just that shade of the bed going through. And it's going through the bed because that's exactly where our light is actually hitting it. So that's going to be the Fresnel nodes, um, hopefully that explains quite a lot of it, um, obviously it helped myself learning it as well. And I believe next we will be looking at the Geometry nodes, and hopefully get that one out of the way tonight as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and as always, like, comment and subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you very much.